Hi folks, welcome to MTS. This is a video of a video. Uh, I had made a revival video of a Lion L675 that ended up going way too long. Um, the smoke pot uh, was caked in old smoke pellet residue. After a tedious job of cleaning out the smoke pot, I opted to upgrade the heater assembly to a modern heating element. I'm sure this has been done before, but this is my process of updating the heating element in a Lionel post-war puffing smoke unit. So since I don't have a heater assembly, but I have plenty of the more modern uh, heating elements, we're going to do a liquid smoke fluid conversion uh, to the post-war heating pot uh, using a modern heating element. The whole trick here, we're going to kind of work through it, this is my first attempt at this, so uh, we're going to use the heating element and then we have the sleeve that goes around And the key is we just have to make sure that we have a positive input, a grounded output. Positive input, grounded output. That's what we're going to go for. So we're going to use a little, what I'll call the, the Pac-Man insulation. <laughs> um, that just lays inside the bottom, the little Pac-Man go after the little other spot there. This is more or less there just to soak up any excess uh, liquid smoke fluid. Now again the trick is we have to make sure that this is insulated. I have some very narrow uh, heat shrink tubing but I'm going to I'm going to double up, especially where it goes into the heating element, just to make sure that that doesn't wear uh, and actually penetrate to get to the, the wire itself. So we're just going to kind of eyeball this, cut it to length. want a little uh, end where I can either I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to try to solder directly to the connection point on the chassis assembly or if I want to try to just do a wire solder a wire to the end of that At any rate um, we're going to find the blue butane lighter again Snug fit. It's not coming out. Um, and again, I'm going to see if I can't find. A smaller piece. I'll kind of overlap what we just did, just at the base, because all I want to do is just make sure where it go feeds through. That uh, just give it a little extra little extra barrier. I'm just going to cut a small piece here. I'm just going to fit that into the top about halfway down. This way. There we go. So I'm going to 
pull that back out for a second. I'm just going to bend that right at the element. Just like so. And that's going to go in like that. What we'll do is we'll bend the other side as well, kind of make a horseshoe. And that's going to fit right through other side. I'm just going to push that on down through there. I'm just wanting to bind up a little bit so we're just going to kind of pull that through. Okay, I like that. Where that top will fit back inside of there. Just gonna press that in with our thumbs, like so. And just make sure it's even. Now, what I'm gonna do, uh, there's a small groove. You can see it right here. I'm gonna clean that out real good with a wire wheel. We're just going to run that right there. I'm going to solder to that, and that's going to be my ground. This will hook up to a wire that will go to the um, that'll go back to the uh, chassis. Put the safety glasses on. Should just fit right there. Use the pliers. Just get bend it the way I want it to here. And that way, it should, my my thought is that this isn't going to interfere with any of the other uh, mechanism or the space inside the locomotive. I'm gonna put some flux. to that way I don't have to hold on to it there we go Now the next test, we're going to plug in the transformer and get some smoke fluid. Let's soak that heating element up a little bit. Now I'm actually going to just hook up one alligator clip right to the frame here, just the way it would be kind of simulate how it would be inside of the locomotive. They did it pretty good, so it may take a second to get going, but I do see smoke coming off of here. Oh, there we go. Look at there. And we have a working smoke unit. Okay, so smoke unit is complete. Up in the bottom. In closing, hope you enjoyed the video 
and found some helpful tips along the way. Be sure to check out my other video, The Revival of the Lionel 675. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you down the line.